UPC has convened a district conference for Dokolo district. This follows the death of Cecily Ogwal. The conference presented Sarah Gutinyankori, who also held the party's flag in the 2021 election as a preferred candidate for the Dokolo woman MP. <laughs> UPC constitution provides for the district conference to choose the flag bearers at every elective period. Sarah Gutinyankori was declared winner after Juspina Chen and Anna Okwir stepped down. And this is the power which as UPC we have invested into the people. We don't do it from top, we do it at the grassroots. So I reflected. Sarah stood twice. I said, no, let us give her the space for her to go into contest. I'm very ready. I will be over prepared for 2026. While we give her the support to work well as a team, as a unit for growth and development of Lang, then in the long run we shall see who takes over in 2026. For UPC, it's not about money. For us, it's about what do people want. No money has been given and no money will be accepted in any case. Sarah Guti's candidature is anchored on improving education, health and economic empowerment. Where I'm going is a no-joke area, meaning that I have to deliver what Doklo is expecting. In the other by-election, we got it from Uyam. And getting this one alone is another straight message to other competitors that UPC has risen up. And thereafter, we shall roll out to the entire country. And I want to appeal to the people of Uganda that the party that will unite Uganda is UPC. The party that will work for the common good of all the people of this country in terms of education, in terms of good health services, is UPC. That is not so. FDC and NRM have already fronted their flag bearer ahead of the forthcoming by-election slated for 21st next month. Edi Olua, UBC News.